What is going on, Internet? So, tonight, I'm going to make a video about building a very special type of GNS3 server. The purpose of this GNS3 server will be to run KVM-based virtual machines, the images for which I'll be taking from Viral. So, that raises a number of questions. Number one, if you go ahead and buy Viral, why would you want to take the images off of Viral and just run them on GNS3? Well, the reason that you would do that is Viral, while it is awesome, is built on top of OpenStack. OpenStack is also awesome. However, it is also resource intensive. Um, and I'll give you an example here. As soon as I close secure CRT that I didn't mean to open. If we go on our Viral system, we go to System Tools, we go to Task Manager. It's doing nothing right now. It's at a dead idle and I have two and a half plus gigs of RAM being used doing nothing. We'll go over to my GNS3 server that I haven't done anything to yet except for install Debian with LXDE. We'll do the same thing. System tools, task manager, and it's at a whopping 241 megs of RAM. So right off the bat, you have a, a lot more overhead when running viral. The other thing that you run into with viral is viral has a 15 node limit. A lot of people have been complaining about that. If you're one of those people that, hey, I have great news for you. There's no node limit in GNS3. The only limit that you run into is how much resources you have available. In this case, how much you've allocated towards your virtual machine or your GNS3 server if it's a physical, a physical box. So those are the reasons that you would do that. Uh, that being said, we'll go ahead and jump into the installation um, really quick about this virtual machine. Shut up, Ice Weasel. No one cares about you. We'll take a look at it. Uh, I'm using VMware Workstation. You'll notice that I do have virtualization for Intel VT or AMD V enabled for my processor. You will want to do that so you can do nested KVM. If you don't have VMware Workstation, you're more than welcome to use VMware Player. If you want to try this out in VirtualBox, go ahead. If it doesn't work, do not ask me because I don't know. Uh, I have no idea if you can do nested virtualization in VirtualBox. If you can, fantastic. If it doesn't work, again, ask somebody else because I will not have the answer for you. I would recommend that you use VMware Player in that sense, in that instance. So uh, when I started recording this earlier, I noticed that there are uh, repositories available if you want to do that. Uh, I don't want to do that. I did try it out earlier and uh, I ran into a few errors and I honestly don't feel like debugging those right now. Uh, I'll install from source and fair warning, I will still probably run into errors, but hopefully there'll be errors that I'm familiar with. Um, also, before you install GNS3, you do want to make sure that you have KVM and QEMU installed. So we'll do app get install qemu-kvm qemu-system it's x86 all right so i already have qemu kvm qemu system x86 installed you will want to make sure that you have those packages so let's close, well actually we'll just minus down our terminal for now. And we'll start downloading this source zip. We'll go to our downloads folder. I'm just going to extract it really quick to here. And normally you'd have to go through and install pretty much all of these packages. We don't really need all of them. All we need is GNS3 server. So we'll extract, extract GNS3 server here. And I'll just CD into that directory. Make sure I'm in the right folder. Expand that window out a little bit. All right, and oh, other packages you'll need. App good, install. You're going to need Python setup tools. I think I already have it. I do not already have it. So you need Python setup tools. 
Actually, pardon me, I did pause that for a second. You actually need Python 3 setup tools. I knew there was another one of these Python 3 net eye faces. And we need a compiler, so we'll do apt-get install gcc. Oh, gcc is already installed, so we got one of them. All right, so then we're going to do Python 3 setup.py install. Actually look like... Sorry, I'm cautious. It looked like it might have actually installed right on the first try, which would be a first for me. So we can test that. Just do GNS3 server. Looks like it starts right up. That is fantastic. All right, the next thing we want to do is you probably want this to start on boot. So we're going to go ahead and make a... Um, and make a start, a start up script. Wow, look at me talking so good. We're going to make a startup script so that when you boot your GNS3 server, that the GNS3 server process just starts all on its own. So let's clear this out really quick. And we're going to copy from etc uh, init d skeleton back into etc. In D, we're just going to call this GNS3 server. And then we'll edit that file. Actually, I think I have Vim installed. Do I have? I have Vim Tiny. Good enough. So we'll edit that file so that it's starting GNS3. Scroll down. All right. We'll set the description to be. GNS3 server startup. And I actually forget where the daemon's at, so hold on one second. Let's find out really quick. I think it's in user share, but let's find, find out. Or USR share. GNS3 server. Wait for it. Wait for it. Continue waiting. There we go. USR local bin. There she is. So, just going to copy that. Back down here. Append. Don't do that. Just paste it in. Okay. The next thing we have to do is we're going to make that an executable. So chmod plus x etsy init d gns3 server. And then uh, I'm using Debian 8, which uses systemd. So we're just going to do system ctl enable gns3 server so it's set to enable and just to confirm it's not running we'll do netstat dash you should do aon we'll grep out tcp so nothing on tcp 8000 right now so we should be able to do system ctl start gns3 server Fantastic. All right, fair warning, my Linux Jitsu is not awesome, so I don't know, whenever I make this script, it just sort of hangs after I start it for the first time, and I have to control C, but you can see that port 8000 is listening, so our GNS3 server is up. So that's the end of part one. I'm gonna pause the video here, and I'll do a part two about how to extract images from viral, and then load them onto our GNS3 server.